Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1970 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup is between the Boston Red Sox and the Seattle Pilots at Brainiac Stadium. On the mound for the Red Sox today is Juan Pizarro, whose record is 4-2 with a 4.13 ERA. And pitching for the Pilots is Camilo Pasquale, whose record is 0-1 with a 3 ERA. That is correct. We have the newly acquired Camilo Pasquale uh, pitching for the Pilots today. Uh, we're excited to have at least one good quality starting pitcher. We picked him up in a deal, if you didn't catch uh, yesterday's game. Uh, we traded Marty Patton and Jerry McNertney to the Washington Senators for Camilo Pasquale and... A catcher left fielder, Dick Billings, who will primarily be a catcher for us. Uh, definitely an upgrade over uh, McNertney in most ways. And then we got a couple throw-ins to help uh, boost our minor league system. Um, so we did save a little bit of payroll on this, as well as, um, I think, upgrading our team. Uh, Camilo Pasquale, we'll do a, um, a deep dive on him when we get to the uh, gameplay mode. Uh, but there's, a, uh, you know, he's 36 years old and he's, you know, at the end of his career, he is a free agent at the end of the year. And so uh, why not try to squeeze the last bit of, uh, you know, top level pitching from him uh, before we let him go and maybe off into retirement even. So uh, we do have a f our final game against the Red Sox to play today. Uh, we'll do that momentarily. Just a quick reminder today. Uh, that on Sunday, this Sunday coming up, we will do our giveaway in which we are uh, giving away this prize of a Seattle Pilots official scorebook from Six Stadium. Uh, this is from their one and only season in 1969. A pretty rare piece of memorabilia. It's not in great shape, uh, but I still think it has uh, some uh, real value to it, especially if you're a collector uh, to get your hands on something this rare. Uh, so we are giving it away this Sunday, and you are still eligible to get into the uh, giveaway. We have nine contestants right now. Uh, we have Jimmy DeBaker. We have Thomas D. David, not your status quo. Ethan P., Freddie C., Julio L., James K., John M., and George C. So we have nine contestants for the giveaway. And if you want to get in on it, you can. You just have to be a subscriber. And let me know in the comments below that you want to get in on it. So uh, there you go. Let's go ahead and get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button for me if you, if you can. I appreciate it. Uh, we are playing May 9th date, which is my birthday in real life. Technically, I am one year away from being born. I was born in 1971. All right, we have, oh, no, it's supposed to be Camilo Pasquale getting the start today. And I switched that over, but maybe I didn't save it. That's my bad. Um, I hope it doesn't give Rob Bender a start. No, it doesn't. Okay. So, yes, it is uh, Camilo Pasquale starting today. All the bullpen is available. The good news is Ron Locke is back uh, in the bullpen. I've also decided to go with Skip Lockwood as our closer. Diego Segui has blown two saves uh, in the worst possible fashion, uh, which is in the bottom of the ninth inning, uh, up three runs and giving up four runs. So uh, we have to le at least move him down to short relief now. Uh, I have no faith in him. Uh, now tomorrow we do get back uh, uh, Gene Brabender. And so Dick Bainey will get the call up just for one day. So if Pasquale struggles, we'll see Dick Bainey uh, come in. And, uh, and then Bob Bender will be back tomorrow. And then in theory, we will have our complete pitching uh, rotation and bullpen uh, in, uh, it, the way it should be. So now we are taking a look at the lineup here. We are facing the left-hander Juan Pizarro. So this is our lineup versus lefties. Jesus Alou will get the start in left field. His first start as a Seattle pilot. And Dick Billings will catch today. Um, 
because he is a right-handed bat, and um, Del Ripple is a lefty. So, okay, so there's our lineup for today. Let's go ahead and do the official lineup rundown for the Boston Red Sox. Once again, they're mixing it up a bit. Batting leadoff in right field is Reggie Smith. Batting second at third base is Soler. Celerino Sanchez. <laughs> I don't think I've ever said that name before. Celerino Sanchez. Batting third in left field is Carl Yastrzemski. Batting cleanup and catching is Hal King. Batting fifth at first base is George Scott. Batting sixth in center field is Don Locke. Batting seventh at second base is Dalton Jones. Batting eighth is the shortstop Luis Alvarado. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Juan Pizarro. Okay, let's take a look at Camilo Pasquale. You'll see that I've already got the cards updated for all the new players. Um, Camilo Pasquale, 36-year-old right-hander. Uh, he is basically one year away from being retired. He did pitch in 1970. In real life, uh, 10 games for the Dodgers. He was 0-0 uh, zero zero with a 2.57 ERA. Those 10 games were all in relief. He is a seven times All-Star. Three times led the American League in complete games, shutouts, and strikeouts. Um, last year in our sim for the Senators, he went 13 and 12 with a 380 ERA, 127 strikeouts, and 217 and two-third innings pitched. Um, you'll see he did get one start this year with the Senators, in which he took a loss. It was a complete game. He walked four, struck out three. Uh, he's really known for having a great curveball. It is rated an 80 at this stage of his career. Um, but it was pretty devastating during his uh, career with the Washington Senators. Of course, they moved to Minnesota. And then he was actually traded back to Washington. Um, and uh, I think it's fair to say that for a player who pitched for nothing but terrible teams. Uh, he was a pretty valuable pitcher uh, during this era. So he was a two-time two 20 game winner. And as I said, he um, led the American League in strikeouts three consecutive years. Um, all in all, a, a really great pitcher from this era. Okay, we'll take a look at our defense. Oh, it's a little mixed up today. Um, at first base, we have Darren Johnson back in there. Sutherland, of course, is at second because he hits lefty so well. Um, our outfield is pretty strong as uh, Felipe, I'm sorry, uh, Jesus Alou will be out there in left today. And we have Billings behind the plate, below league average, and I believe his arm strength is not particularly good either. It isn't. It's a 78, but this is a, definitely an upgrade uh, with the bat. And if you look at his stats you'll see that he's never really got a chance to play regularly but he'll get all the at-bats versus left-handers for the rest of the year okay here we go reggie smith leading off versus camilo pasquale and a base hit up the middle so more of the same <laughs> it looks like as reggie smith is on first he has an 84 speed so he could be someone that could test Billings right out of the gate. Here is Celerino Sanchez starting at third today. Full count. Popping it up on the infield. Freddy Patek. Whoops. Makes the catch. Making so many errors of late. I almost expect it every single time. One down. Runner on first. Here is the Hall of Famer Carl Ustremski. And Smith is going. Successful stealing second base. His third steal of the year. And now there's a runner, runner in scoring position for Yaz. A one count to him. And a base hit to left. So it's one nothing. Oh, and a double for Yastrzemski. Six double of the year. Red Sox jump ahead. Here's Hal King, the catcher, cleanup hitter. Brown ball to Rollins at third. He'll check the runner, go to first for out number two. And George Scott, while well, batting 295, five home runs. 
with a ground ball to first. And Johnson will step on the bag. So, base hit and a stolen base for Smith. Ustrepski knocks him in with a double, and it's 1 0. We'll go to the bottom of the first inning. Here is the Pilots lineup rundown. Batting leadoff in right field is Jesus Alou. Batting second. At second base is Gary Sutherland. Batting third in right field is Bill Robinson. Batting cleanup, playing first base, is Darren Johnson. Batting fifth in center field is Tommy Agee. Batting sixth at third base is Rich Rollins. Batting seventh is today's catcher, Dick Billings. Batting eighth is the shortstop, Freddie Patek. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Camilo Pasquale. Juan Pizarro. He was the opening day pitcher versus our Pilots in our very first ever uh, uh, Pilots game. Uh, he is 4-2 this year, making his ninth start with a 4-13 ERA, 46 strikeouts in 56 and two-third innings pitched. Opponents are batting 230 against him. No complete game so far this year. A fastball that tops out at 95 miles an hour, pretty damn good. Ground ball percentage is 43.2%. He's got two. Very good pitches, the fastball and the slow curve. A screwball, a knuckleball, and a spitball all in his arsenal. Overall rated at 84, the 33-year-old lefty uh, just signed an extended contract. He is good until 1973. Looking at his log, he's coming off a win over the Kansas City Royals. He went eight innings, gave up two runs on nine hits, walking two, striking out. A season high eight batters. Okay, we'll take a look at the defense for the Boston Red Sox. So we have Sanchez at third in place of Carmen Fanzone. That's a definite upgrade. First base below league average with George Scott. Center field not so hot with Don Locke. And of course, behind the plate is Hal King, who does have a weak arm as well. Okay, here we go. Jesus Alou leading off for the first time this year. With a ground ball to short. Alvarado. Tossing him out. One out. That will bring up Gary Sutherland. Batting 388 versus left-handers. A 2-2 count. And, as expected, a base hit in the center field. Great job by Sutherland. He's on first with one out. Now, <clears throat> in yesterday's debacle... We had Bill Robinson attempt to hit and run twice, and both times he swung and missed. Um, and both times he ended up in a stolen base, but I think we'll just let Bill Robinson do what he does best and bash. Ooh, a wild pitch. Gets Sutherland into scoring position for Robinson, who does have a career home run versus Pizarro. And a base hit should tie the ball game. No, of course. Why would it tie the ball game? First and third. This is a double play. There's nothing we can do about it. Um, I guess we can attempt to sack fly. Sutherland, Sutherland does not have great speed. Uh, but I don't see an arm in the outfield that we have to worry about. Reggie Smith, does he have a good arm? We know Yaz does not. No, Smith does not either. Okay. Does Don Locke? I really don't know. Oh, Don Locke has a rifle. So a sock fly anywhere but the Don Locke, we should be all right. But this is going to be a double play. So we go to the top of the second inning with Don Locke leading off. Locke pops it up. Pop and lock for out number one. Dalton Jones. Hits his eighth home run. 2 nothing Boston. Luis Alvarado goes to right field with a base hit. Which will bring up the pitcher. Pull the corners in. Pizarro batting 0-45 this year. And he strikes out. First K for Pasquale. 
Runner on first with two down. We're back to Reggie Smith. It's a frozen rope to center, but it will be caught for out number three. Red Sox get a run. It's two to nothing. And Tommy Agee will lead it off. Agee, a base hit in the left. So we've got the leadoff man on. 75% chance to steal second. I mean, we may as well. All we're doing right now with 12 games under 500 is accruing stats. I mean, we don't have any real hope, right, for a playoff, uh, back, you know, back to back years in the playoffs. So we may as well try to get stats. AG picks a good pitch to go. It's a slow curve. That is AG's 10th stolen base of the year. He's 10 for 15. He's picking up the pace. And we have a runner in scoring position for Rich Rawl. And a base hit. Will it score a run? No guarantees. Yes, it does. So good job by Rollins. Going to right field, knocking in AG. It's 2-1. to one. Rollins on first. We're next we'll let Dick Billings take a cut in his first at-bat. I can't wait to get to the 71 season. Because these cards are going to be so easy for me to update. You know, just put a black banner over there and then use this font, whatever it is, um, in white. And uh, it'll be very easy to, to manipulate. Oh, balk. So a wild pitch and a balk for Pizarro as a uh, baseball mogul is trying to get the whole bingo scorecard filled up. Billings pops it up to what I think will be third. No, the shortstop, Alvarado, calling for it. Two down for Freddy Patek. Patek, under the Mendoza line. He is a slow starter. And a ground ball to second will end the inning. Oh, no. That's only out number two. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, all right. Well, Pasquale. Was he a good hitter? I feel like he was. He had 201 career hits, including five home runs. I mean, there are some regular batters that never get that many. I mean, it's kind of amazing. I guess we just let him swing away, full count. Oh, he strikes out. All right. We go to the top of the third. We get on the board. It's 2-1. to one. Here's Celerino Sanchez. Wasn't even a rookie until 1972. Getting a chance to fill in today. Flying out to left field. One out for Kyle Ustremski, who takes ball four. That is the first walk issued from Pasquale. Make it a double. That's what I say whenever I go to the bar. Make it a double. They get a triple. Oh, man, that's when I know I'm feeling low. When I need three shots after three consecutive walks. So, I mean, it doesn't matter who we throw into the lineup, into the rotation. Every single one will walk a ratio of two to one over their strikeouts. We'll pull the infield in, but it's not going to make a difference. This will be a, a sack fly. They'll get that done. I mean, it's, it's the most obvious result every single time. Well, that'll get another run in. So Pasquale's just as bad as everybody else we've given a chance this year. And I know I've done, a, our, you know, I've done us no favors with the, um, the fences. After our offensive... Um, first year, I thought, well, you know, why not bring him in a little bit in the new stadium and let us really show what we can do. I really didn't think that it would be have the, have the complete opposite effect and destroy our pitching. So we're just pushing the buttons now. This will make us 11 and 24.
fourth walk from Pasquale to go with six hits. Pasquale coming out of the game. Welcome back, Ron Locke. Some lefty on lefty violence here. Let's get a double play. Yastrzemski hits the sixth home run of the year. Seven to one. An error on our newly acquired catcher. Go to the bottom of the fourth, seven to one, Boston. We get singles, they get home runs. That's the difference. And once they get on, there's nothing else we can really do. Um, Rich Rollins does hit and run, and he can't hit versus lefties anyway, but all we have as an option is uh, Aurelio Rodriguez, who's been terrible. Actually worse, somehow, than Rollins. Top of the fifth. Dalton Jones grounding out. Alvarado with the eighth hit for the Red Sox. And Reggie Smith popping it up. Well, we finally keep him off the board. Ron Locke will come out. We've only got one right-handed bat on the bench today. Uh, do any of these lefties hit lefties well? Well, Van Kelly just got recalled, so... I guess Aurelio, you're the one. Oh, maybe a blooper. It does find a hole. Good job by Aurelio. And we have our best hit and run guy. Jesus Alou, 95 contact. 1-1 one, one count. Picks a good pitch, but it's a ground ball to first. One out. Sutherland ekes it into center field. Rodriguez will never score. The game would never do that, right? That's twice today that we've been foiled on the hit and run with less than um, two outs. Sutherland does get a stolen base, a very rare stolen base. In fact, it's his first career stolen base on the missed hit and run. And then Johnson will strike out. Yep, it's this game blows. Oh, he hits a three-run home run. <laughs> I, I knew there was to be an 0-2 count. And then we get a three-run home run to make it a little more interesting. Good job by Johnson. That's a sixth home run. Tommy Ag strikes out. All right, Rodriguez deserves to come in, play some defense. He'll take over. At third, we'll bring in uh, Dick Bainey. Hello, Dick. This is his first appearance of the year. You'll see that he pitched in 12 games last year. Was not bad. He walked more than he struck out, but he didn't give up very many hits. He's got a 91 mile an hour fastball. Ground ball percentage is 40%. He's a one pitch pony. He's got that fastball rated in 87. Overall rated as 75. The 23 year old righty is arbitration eligible 1972. This will be his only game. Uh, and then we'll call up uh, Brubaker. Oh, great. There we go. Let's keep it rolling. Yes. Double play. Al King, base hit. That's number nine. 
George Scott with a base hit. I was going to call him George C. Scott, but I might as well just call him George F. Scott. Base is loaded. When the game is over, let stick with me for a minute, and we'll take a look at the, the um, standings, and we'll pull up the categories of walks and strikeouts. I don't know if they have walks issued, but I bet you we've walked more batters than we struck out this year, and I bet you it's not even close. Okay, Dick Bainey, he did his gerb. Who do we want to see bat in this position? I guess we're going to, we'll call Mike Hegan in. Batting 200 versus lefties, but a 600 slugging percentage. That went down. 5Ks for Pizarro. Tricky Dick Billings. An inauspicious debut. Top of the seventh inning. Um, yeah, we'll bring in Hegan, put him at first. And we'll bring in a pitcher. Fred Gladding. Pitching? Pretty good. This is a guy I was even... I was very reluctant to even sign, and yet he's come in and actually pitched pretty well. And, of course, he issues a walk. That would have been ball four. Said it's a bunt. Fly ball by Reggie Smith to left field. Celerino Sanchez strikes out. Bottom of the seventh. Here's Aurelio. He's one for one today. And another base hit. Looks like player of the game might be Aurelio Rodriguez. Jesus Alou. Oof, he just took a last second swat at it. Popping out to short. Here's Gary Sutherland with one down, runner first. Sutherland, that's going to get down and get to the wall. Of course, the runner cannot score from first. I guess he would have had to wait, right? To see if that would have been caught. I can, I can sort of justify that one. Especially when you're down three runs. But that's the fifth double for... Sutherland, who led the team in doubles last year. I mean, one swing of the bat here from Bill Robinson. The game could be tied. 2-1 count. And a base hit for that. Oh, no, it'll be caught. Rodriguez will tag. That's our junk run, by the way. So that's going to be the final score of the game. As Fred Gladding does his gerb. I guess we got to call in Joe Pepitone just in case he runs into one. Two down, runner at second. Here's Joey P. yet to get a hit versus left-handers in 1970. And a ground ball to first. And an error. First and third. Tommy A.G. Two to one, two one count. Another error? Yeah. Uh, I mean, the first error would not have happened if he was going to get out. That's why I knew there was going to be an error there. But that's it. Like, that's, that's, that's all they're going to give up. We'll lose by one. But, I mean, this game is such a piece of crap. Will the runner score from second? Yes, he does. It's tied up. Oh, my gosh. This is a reverse moguling, the likes we have yet to see this year. And Dick Billings with a chance here to give us the lead. That is unbelievable. Yep. All right. Another error? Two errors in the inning and some timely hitting uh, forced upon us by the game. We are all tied up at seven. And it's time for J-Mo. 
coming in to face the two left-handers. Is our defense okay? Yep. All right. Yastrzemski leading off the inning with a pop-up to Sutherland, shallow right field. There's the end game stats if you want to take a peek. Al King walks another huge walk. Out comes JMO for Diego. No late is safe, safe Sagi. Strike it out. Pop it up. In front of home plate. Oh, that looks like an error all over it. Yep. It had to because the left handed bat was up next. This is where he gives up the, the run. It's going to be unearned. Another error. It had to happen in order to get to this, this bat. I mean, that's the 10th error by Patek. Five errors combined in this game. And this will... I mean, we got to take out Sagi here and bring in Denny Riddleberger. we got lefties coming up. I mean, Pizarro will not bat. No, is this just a pinch hit? Oh, this is actually just a straight pinch hit. With Chris Coletta batting for Luis Alvarado, how often does the game do this? Bases loaded, two down. Lefty down, lefty violence. Wild pitch. Dick Schofield will come in to play shortstop. And Juan Pizarro will get to, to pitch another inning. He's due up. I guess that makes sense. Freddie Patek 0 for 3 today. 0 for 4. Rodriguez. <coughs> Pardon me, 2 for 2. Ground ball to first. And Alou does not have a hit yet for us. It'd be nice to have a home run here to justify that free agent signing. Okay, well, we go to the top of the ninth inning. Joe Askew will um, pitch hit. Now, we do have a righty in the bullpen. One, We have one pitcher left. So let's see if we can't get a little more mileage. We will... Um, who do we have on the bench? Okay, so we are going to pinch. No, I'm sorry. We're going to do a defensive replacement for Sutherland. So that improved. I mean, it doesn't mean anything. We've had errors all day long with all of our best players in there, but trying to play the odds. Full count. Another walk. Ground ball to Rodriguez. One up. Reggie Smith, an infield single, despite having a 93 at first. So this is where the ball game ends. We'll, we're going to guard the lines. Yeah, a guy that you've never heard of before is Clutch. Infield in. Dostremski does hit into a lot of double plays. Popping up, but it's okay because this is the guy that's going to be driving in the run. I guess we're going to intentionally walk him. To get to George C. Scott. Skip Lockwood will come in. This is loaded. And a fly ball to center field. Will it be caught? It is. Okay. We've done all we can up till now as Don Neuhauser comes in. He's a right-handed arm, so bringing in Van Kelly may pay some dividends here. Kelly had a great game yesterday. Oh, ground ball up the middle. Play made by the second baseman, Dalton Jones. Nope. Robinson and 
Well, Skip Lockwood's the only pitcher we have left, so he's going to have to take a cut here. We do have a, a bat on the on the bench. Free baseball. Don Lock leading off. One up. There we go. Good job, game. Let's guard the lines. A comebacker. An error? Oh, no. All right. Two down here in the 10th. We've got to guard the lines again. It's a left-handed bat up. It's Joe LaHood, pitch hitting. Got the start in yesterday's game at first. Yep, guaranteed. And now there's nothing we can do but push a button. And that's the ball game. Oh, how does he not score with two down? How is he not going on that? What, are they setting up a grand slam? Just to kick us in the nuts? Oh, it's the worst. It's even worse. What a freaking embarrassment. So we put Skip Lockwood into the closer's role, and he absolutely blows it. Of course, he gets the strikeout. This game truly is a piece of shit. Red Sox win, 10 to seven. Another exercise in futility. All right, well, we head on the road to Anaheim to face the Angels. Um, let's see here, it's the standings. Oh, okay, let's see. Is pitcher's walks a stat? We can't even, like, this, this game is so shitty. It doesn't even offer you to look at your pitcher's stats. What about team strikeouts? Pitching strikeouts? Am I missing this? I don't see it, do you? No. Okay, I wonder if... Um, let's see here. Um, sortable stats. Ah, craptacular. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. I swear I have a, a point. Um, I may have to do this on the side. Yeah, I'll have to do this on the side and uh, and get back to you and tell you what this is. Um, I'll have to set this all up. And I bet you our pitchers have walked more than we struck out this year. I'm sure of it. Headline news, Brainiac Baseball Daily Beat. Uh, yeah. White Sox and Williams at the edge. The Angels. Norm Cash bastishes two home runs for the Indians. Larry Gowell, Gowell. Excels, allows just two hits for the Yankees. Seattle slump continues. Transactions. Norm Cash hit his 300th career home run. Good job by him. Underrated in his time. Also a bad swimmer. Terry Lay of the Yankees is going to miss a month. Never heard of him. Oh, that's why. Okay, so we'll pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and or subscribe to the channel. The 1985 Detroit Tigers season is five months away. Hang in there, folks. We're going to give away prizes. That's one reason to stick around. Now, uh, the player of the game... Well, it's not Camilo Pasquale. He was crap. We walked 11 batters.
They walked one. How is that possible? Um, I don't even remember who I said the player of the game was. I guess we give it to you, uh, Darren Johnson. He did have a three-run home run. I, maybe it was uh, Aurelio Rodriguez. I can't remember. The catcher made two errors. Freddie Potek made another error. Bullpen. Fred Newhouser gets the win. He's one and two. Skip Lockwood takes the loss. He's two and two. And don't forget, we're giving away this. Be a subscriber. Let me know in the comments. I'll add you to the duck race. That will do it for today. Until tomorrow, everyone, have a great day.